Hey everyone, so today we'll be fixing this Logitech mouse. The left click button no longer works for me. So I purchased a couple of switches, some Omron switches. That's what they look like. There's the part number for you if you need to purchase some for your Logitech mouse. You may ask yourself, why are you fixing this Logitech mouse? Uh, you can go out and buy one of these things. They're relatively cheap, about like 15 bucks. And the reason is because, I don't know, the Omron switches are only $1 for five of them. And then you're putting less filth in the trash. So we're recycling and keeping something else in service. So as you saw, we had that screw and that screw, and then this should just pull out. There's that. Set this aside, this screw right there. There's our Omron switch. That's just one screw to hold the board down. <clears throat> and then just, this is for the battery. Just pull up lightly on this, just to kind of get it dislodged. And then, same with this part. There we go. Set, that was our on-off switch. Let's set this part of the shell aside. Don't need it for right now. And now we've got our board. And like I said, this switch no longer works. So we're gonna go ahead and desolder these three pins and then solder on our new switch. So we've got our soldering iron heating up. So we gotta pull this switch out. We'll just be heating up the solder and using a solder sucker. So I must admit, I think I did probably one of the best solder sucking jobs I have ever done. I mean, look how clean that is. I mean, look at that, just. Man, I don't think I've ever done such a good job solder sucking. That's great. That was really good. That iron was set to, uh, there's a dial on it, it says 450, so I'm assuming 450 watts. So it was set up pretty high and yeah, that worked out fantastic. Let's get the new switch installed. So we're gonna go ahead and solder in our new switch. First, uh, apply some, some tip tinner on our soldering iron. And then what I like to do is then just have a wet rag and then kind of just go quickly over the iron. Then we'll go ahead and place our new switch in here. I'll use the old switch to prop up the new switch so that we have a flush fit. And all we'll do is just heat up the pin with our soldering iron. Let the solder flow. There's one. Two. three. So you can see that our fitment is rather flush. You can see that the solder joints, the one on the on the left, a little too much solder, and the one on the very right, a touch too much solder. The one in the middle is, I would say, pretty perfect, but a not too bad for a home jobber, you know. So now we can get started on putting this back together. 
we got to put our switch in first and the switch is actually right there um, and you can see there's an on position and an off position so this is in the off position so when we lay our switch into the half of the shell the bottom half of the shell we'll just you know what? Also, there's three little legs you gotta be mindful of as well. Let's see if this will focus. There you go. So that bottom leg needs to be facing down. So we'll just pop that in there. So there's that slipped in. Go ahead and then tuck the board in. So now that we got our board in, we'll go ahead and place our PCB hold down screw in. It goes right there. That's nice and secure. Then go ahead and take the top shell, put that back on. So the way this goes in, I believe was like that, slip this in. There we go. All of our buttons seem to be working. We'll go ahead and place our last two screws in. Toss a battery in here and test her out. So I know recording a screen is pretty terrible, but I just wanted to show that the mouse, the left click of the mouse is now working. So right click and then now left click, refresh, uh, maybe we go to new text document. So that was a success. Super happy that worked. I have a, another spare mouse now and one less thing in the landfill thanks for watching guys i hope you found this video helpful entertaining educational and as always please leave a comment down below and if you like this content please consider subscribing thanks and have a great day Bye bye